Hi everyone! Today's makeup tutorial features Pat McGrath's newest eyeshadow palette, The Divine Rose 2. I hope you all enjoy. I really wanted to go for Pat McGrath's aesthetic with this whole makeup look, and the first thing that I noticed she does is she always has such a flawless base on her models, so I'm using this pore filling primer from Tatcha to smooth out my skin. Next, I'm using this concealer from Giorgio Armani. I'm using this as the foundation because her models always have such perfected skin, but they're not actually wearing anything super full coverage. So this concealer will help me go for that soft, perfected look. It is more matte than the Luminous Silk Concealer, so it especially will fit the aesthetic we're going for today. I have pretty bad dark circles under my eyes, so as usual I am using a pot type concealer to conceal them. To really create that soft marshmallow finish, I am using this pressed powder pack from Eclipse. I am first using the puff to just generously apply this powder all over my face. This powder really just makes your skin and your pores just look like perfect. It makes your pores disappear and it leaves your skin looking extremely soft and velvety matte without actually drying your skin out. I am going to be using eyeshadow as an eyebrow powder today to create a more softer but still defined eyebrow look. Then I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and fill in the ends for some depth. Next, to define the front of my eyebrows and to fill in bald patches, I am as usual using the Glossier Brow Flick. I'm going to prime my eyes with a heavy duty base from P. Louise. Because I'm going to be using the Trio Chrome in the palette, I want to make sure it really shows up and at full intensity. So this eyeshadow primer does a great job of pre preparing my eyelids. Here is the palette. As you can see, it is really, really pretty. It's like a more intense version of the original Divine Rose. I am packing the Trio Chrome all over my eyelids using a dense packing brush. That is one eyeshadow, but you can see the dramatic shift in it. Next, I am taking Extreme Burgundy and I am using it to blend out that Trio Chrome and I am also going to apply it on my lower lash line. With the first eye that I was using Extreme Burgundy on, I definitely used way too much eyeshadow, but we'll fix that later. I'm going to repeat this process on the other eye, this time with a lot less product. I am using a finishing powder from Charlotte Tilbury. It has a little bit of coverage and a little bit of tint to it, so I'm just going to use this powder to soften up the eyeshadow. I am using Skin Show Rose Opal on the lower lash line. And then I had put Astral Pink Moon on the inner corner of my lower lash line, but I accidentally applied it off camera. I am applying some false lashes. I am using a really, really long style today, but they're still pretty wispy, so it won't hide the eyeshadow.
I'm going to be using a non-waterproof mascara on my lower lash line just so that it's easy to remove later tonight. I like how this Too Faced mascara looks on my lashes, but it flakes, so it's not really all that great if I'm going to be outside for a long time. The eyes are now complete. I am not using any eyeliner today because I want the eyeshadow to stand on its own. I'm going to finish off the face with a bronzer from an Hourglass palette. It is a really pretty soft bronzer and Hourglass's powder formula also has a side effect of softening and blurring your skin. My camera just did not want to focus today. Next, I'm using this Super Shock Cheek from ColourPop. It also has a really soft matte formula to it, and it's a really pretty pink color that will match well with the eye look. I'm keeping it mostly concentrated to the outer perimeter of my face and wrapping up my cheekbone. This will lift my face. Next, instead of using highlighter, I am using this powder from Jaclyn Cosmetics. It is a really beautiful powder, but it's really hard to explain the effect that it gives. It is like a highlighter, but it's also like a finishing powder, and as you can see, it just gives the softest glow to the cheek. I had a cold sore that was still healing, so I am just using a tinted lip balm today. And then I'm going to top it off with a little bit of lip oil from Dior. That's the look for today. I'm really sorry that half of it was blurry, but I am going to be updating my filming setup soon where I'm going to have a different background that will hopefully let my camera focus more consistently. I really hope you enjoyed this eye look. I absolutely love multi-chromes on monolids. I recently just bought a bunch of eyeshadows from Cleonid Cosmetics and I look forward to making videos of them soon. Bye everyone!